uh, the my, most magnificent statues you, anyone's ever seen. And they knock. Every time the radical left Democrats, Marxists, communists, and fascists. Every time the radical left Democrats, Marxists, communists, and fascists indict me, I consider it a great badge of honor. I really do. It's crazy. I, I've got to have something a little bit different up there. But I do, because I'm being indicted for you. And never forget, our enemies want to take away my freedom, because I will never let them take away your freedom. I'm never going to let it happen. They want to silence me because I will never let them silence you. And in the end, they're not after me. They're after you. I just happen to be standing in the way. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Not the easiest thing I've ever done. Building buildings was much easier. Remember, every communist regime throughout history has tried to stamp out the churches, just like every fascist regime has tried to co-opt them and control them. And in America, the radical left is trying to do both at the same time. There's never been anything like this. It's really dangerous, okay? It's really a bad thing. And uh, you're going to leave this room and you're going to, some will say, oh, I think it's an over-exaggeration. And some will say it's actually maybe not even up to what it should be as a statement. It's very dangerous out there. They're doing bad things. They want to tear down crosses where they can and cover them up with social justice flags, which nobody even knows what it means. Nobody knows. They don't know what it means. They want to take off the name George Washington, Abraham Lincoln, Thomas Jefferson off schools and off monuments. Think of it. They take down statues like it's uh, the my most magnificent statues you, anyone's ever seen. And they knock them down like they were garbage and uh, so bad. But I see where the other day they wanted to take the name George Washington off of school. George Washington. When you lose George Washington, you've just about to hit the bottom. That means everything comes off the names of buildings. Even the name Trump is going to be off the buildings. There won't be a Trump up there. I can guarantee you that. If Washington can't make it and Lincoln can't make it, I'm going to have a big problem having my name on buildings. But no one will be touching the cross of Christ under the Trump administration. I swear to you, that will never happen. Never happen. Thank you. Thank you very much. We're not going to let that happen. When I return to the White House, I will once again aggressively defend religious liberty just like I had for four years. You had no problems. But we're going to defend it in all of its forms. We will protect Christians in our schools, in our military, in our government, and in our — all of those airwaves that your people — that uh, you, Hewitt, and Sebastian Gorka, and all of the rest of you — I see a lot of you out there that — that you do such a great job in — in talking about in your broadcasts and in Salem, what the job you do is great. I'm telling you, Salem has really done a fantastic job. I just want to thank you. You have courage. You have really courage, because I know it's not easy. Congratulations. And we will protect God in our public square, which they don't want us to do. I will never allow the big media or left-wing pressure groups to silence you, censor you, discriminate against you, or in any way tell you what you have to say. They want you to say what they want you — what they want to have you say. And we're not going to let that happen. You're going to say as you want, and you're going to believe. And you're going to believe in God. You're going to believe in God because God is here, and God is watching. God is watching. And God probably can't believe what he's seeing. I think Jack, I think he's having a hard time with this one. He's trying to figure, well, maybe he isn't, but everyone else is, I could tell you. He probably understands it very well, better than anybody. There's enough filth on our airwaves. American families need a haven where our children can be taught our values, not have radical values forced upon them, the families and the children. We don't want that. Our children. Hear enough about pronouns. What is with pronouns? If you really study it and look at it, it's — it's sick. It's sick. 
I will protect the content that is pro-God. We're going to protect pro-God context and content. To that end, at the request of the NRB, I will do my part to protect AM radio in our cars. You know, we like to listen to AM radio because you know what we're listening to. Millions of Americans value listening to Christian broadcasters, and you're under siege. I know what you're going through. And this happened. This is a phenomenon that's just really happened. While they're on the road, we support you, and we are supporting all of those believers and the people that believe in you. We're not going to abandon you, and we're not going to abandon those great people that do these incredible broadcasts. They're incredible people. They're brave people. They shouldn't have to be brave people. They're smart people. They shouldn't have to be brave people. They should be nothing brave about it, but they're brave people because of this crazy government that we're developing more and more. It's a fascist government. The Biden administration wants to do major harm to you. You cannot let people vote for these people. You cannot let people vote for the Democrats. They're really wanting to change our whole system of values. Upon taking office, I will create a new federal task force on fighting anti-Christian bias. It's become a very big term, anti-Christian bias. Not believable that you have a term like that, is it? When you think about it, it's like, where did that come from? And it's very, a very recent phenomenon. Its mission will be to investigate all forms of illegal discrimination, harassment, and persecution against Christians in America. As president, I will once again appoint rock-solid conservative judges in the mold of Justices Antonin Scalia and the great Clarence Thomas, who's doing a phenomenal job. Strong. Uh, the my, most magnificent statues you, anyone's ever seen. And they knock them down like they were garbage. And uh, so bad. But I see a Trump up there, I can guarantee you that. If Washington can't make it and link even up to what it should be as a statement, it's very dangerous out there. They're doing indict me. I consider it a great badge of honor. I really do. It's crazy. It's social justice flags which nobody even knows what it means. Nobody knows. They don't know what it means. They want to take off the name George Washington, Abraham Lincoln, Thomas Jefferson. They want to silence me because I will never let them silence you. And in the end, every time the radical left Democrats, Marxists, communists, and fascists, history has tried to stamp out the churches just like every fascist regime has tried to set off schools and off monuments. Think of it. They take down statues like it's buildings was much easier. Remember, every communist regime throughout history did for you, and never forget, our enemies want to take away bad things. They want to tear down crosses where they can and cover them up with. They're not after me, they're after you. I just happen to be standing in the way. Thank